tu siku ya leo mtazamaji moja kwa moja tunaelekea hadi katika mahakama ya milimani ambapo tunarifiwa kwa hivi sasa kesi ya kupinga bima mpya ya shif inasikizwa hebu tusikize in the previous page which i said now the temporary speaker honorable wakil sigei did not say under what spring board that then he was then doing what he was doing it was necessary for the petition so that then he could align that with the standing on itself. Did he step out or did he not? Now, we're saying that is arbitrary and that's against the legitimate expectation. If you look at all those Hansen reports, the speaker has been citing, I want to cite, uh, you know, standing order number 165, standing order number 127 and so on and so forth. But now here, the temporary speaker did not. Yes, I was, I was now referring you at page uh, 511, my lords. <clears throat> uh, now, you find that uh, the objects of that act are stated. Nowhere were the objects of the Digital Health Act stated to the Kenyan people at all. In terms of public participation, why do I say so? You find that those objects, A, is to establish the Digital Health Agency, B, to establish and maintain a comprehensive integrated health information system, and so on and so forth. But now there is the G, establish a regulatory framework for e-waste management. And F, earlier on, sorry, develop standards for the provision of mHealth, telemedicine, and e-learning. But I'm concerned about mHealth, and telemedicine. Now, the mandate that is given by the Senate is the object of that act. But we do not have something that is presented to the Kenyan people before the passage of this Digital Health Act. Show me what you want to frame as a standards for the provision of M health, e health. And telemedicine. The Kenyan people would like to know you are passing this legislation but how will it implicate me as a Kenyan? Now lastly I move away from the digital health. Uh, let me refer you to page 514. The SAID Act at uh, Section 15.1, he says that there is established a system to be known as the Comprehensive Integrated Health Information System, which shall be administered by the agency. And if you look at subsection 3, it is so wide-reaching in its scope and application, it states, and I quote, that the system shall operate as a point of collection. A minute, are you looking at Page 514. Section 15, subsection 3. Yes. Yes. It's subsection 3. And this is uh, uh, something which uh, the petitioner has said, tying up with the right to privacy. That the system shall operate as a point of collection, collation, analysis, reporting, storage, usage, sharing, retrieval, or archival of data related to the state of physical or mental health of the data subject and includes records regarding the past. How far do we go in terms of the past? This is a wide and nebulous uh, uh, application. How far do we go 10 years down the line, 15 years down the line, as, uh, you know, from the point of, of, of birth? And then he says, present or future state of the health, data collected in the course of registration for or provision of health services. Now, data collected in the Is that part of it? That's nebulous. It says here, data collected in the course of registration for. This person is going to register under the digital health, this system that is known as the e-system, e-health system. How wide is it? Why do you need my data that I traveled from Kajiado to Nairobi? What is that data for? The Kenyan people should have been told. So. This law should be struck down pursuant to Article 24 of the Constitution, uh, 24 of the Constitution and uh, 24 of the Constitution, 
because of its wide scope and open-ended collection of our data. And I say, <clears throat> I go on in that particular section 153, uh, which is why I say that the public participation should have been effectual, so that we are told we will be collecting your data from where you walk, how you register, who you are with, for instance, I don't know if that is included. And then it says, or data which associates the data subject to the provision of specific health services. Associates you. Now, does that mean that you have, for instance, a social media platform It is associated with you, that you need that? It is not clear. The clarity of that law opens a wide door, and I should say, if I uh, am allowed, an open revolving door of data collection. And, and they say that, well, you know, we want to know, wh wh why do you buy this food that has affected your health? Do they want that data? Do they want also the data that you, your, 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 your uh, shopping includes? For Naam so daktari mtazamaji ni taarifa ambayo tunaifuatilia kwa karibu mengi zaidi ni hapo mwendo wa saa saba kwenye taarifa kuu lakini turudi ndani ya studio mtazamaji uh, mwanangu